greetings to my 1056 subscribers and of course you my future subscriber today we are looking at a tours japanese smooth of course i brought a little bit of a sample and i'm quite looking forward to it been raining all weekend i've been fleeing belgium to get a little bit of sun of course sun is definitely not here and um yeah at least the temperature is nice and warm 27 degrees today very humid so um, perfect time with all this rain to drink a little bit of whiskey and today we are looking at the japanese smooth doers japanese smooth i do have some other whiskies as well in the smooth range or series you have the portuguese smooth you have the illegal smooth and you also have the Caribbean Smooth. Um, I also have a sample of the Caribbean Smooth and I will be trying that um, during maybe this week or next week and upload a video on the Caribbean Smooth. Really budget friendly whiskey. Um, if you look at the price, 26 euros um, for a bottle, 40% ABV, it is a blended scotch. And um, to be honest, uh, budget friendly, yeah, um, it's, it's, not, um, it's not a lot of money to spend on a whiskey today. It is eight years old and it's um, finished off in Mizanaro Oak. So um, not a lot of experience on Mizanaro Oak. I did try the Shivers Regal some time ago with the Mizanaro Oak finish. Um, so not completely sure on the notes that you are going to pick up with this Mizanaro Oak. Definitely have to try some more in the future just to get a little bit more confidence on what you should pick up. So it is 40% ABV. Um, I presume there will be some color added. So I do apologize also for a little bit of a problem with the sound. The rain comes down. I just didn't want to sit indoors today. I'm a little bit tired of sitting indoors. So, so you do have a lot of noise. You have people in the hotel nice little hotel here and um, of course you have uh, aircraft going past um, it is Japanese New Year so we have a lot of explosions going off firecrackers going off so quite an interesting place to be um, but of course we are all about the whisk so straight up on the nose on this whiskey it is a lovely nice light sweetness you get a little bit of a, a sweet, woody, polish type of note. There's a light vanilla coming out. And there's a little bit of an apple cider note that I get. But not overly sweet. Kind of balance between the oakiness and the sweetness on the whiskey. Only 40% ABV, so not a lot of alcohol on the nose and there's also not a lot of youthfulness on the nose it does not feel that it's only um, an eight year old whiskey so quite nice and pleasant on the nose it's a little bit of a toffee note and a little bit of a light honey note coming out and a little bit of a, a floral note appearing at the back so on nose wise, pleasant, light, and dare I say, the smoothness on the nose as well. Of course, in the taste, cheers. Mm, that's kind of nice. Definitely 40% ABV. You don't get a lot of that alcohol. You get the sweetness, a little bit of a toffee note, a little bit of a honey note. And then I get a little bit of an oaky note and a little bit of a vanilla note coming out. A hint of a creme brulee so you have the sweetness of the custard a little vanilla note of the custard and then I also pick up a little bit of that burnt caramel that you have on top so you have the sweetness and every time that you bite into the, the creme brulee part that little burnt toffee note that just hint um, to bring the sweetness down a little bit so quite interesting on the taste let's give it another try Being 40%, you can take nice big sips. It's not a long finish. 
it seems like you, you, you drink it, you have that little sweetness, you have that little bit of creme brulee on the taste as well. And when um, it quickly disappears and leaving you with a little bit of a oaky note, a little bit of a bitter note, but definitely not an overly bitter note at that. So quite pleasant for me. One more sip. It's pleasant. Definitely not a complex whiskey. Definitely something that I would pick out as a, maybe a little bit of a daily sipper. Have a drink, forget about it, and repeat. Now with the Mizanara oak, I'm not sure if I can pick out that will screams out there's a different type of oak. Um, I do get the oakiness of it, but it doesn't tell me that um, or it's not complex enough for me to pick out that it is Mizanara oak. I would like to taste a little bit more whiskies maybe get more familiar with the smell of the Mizanara oak. Now I know a lot of people are saying and talking about a little bit of a sandalwood type of nose on it. I'm not 100% sure if I get that, but I'm sure there's people that um, their noses are a little bit more complex maybe, <laughs> that pick up this different type of um, oakiness in it. I do not really get something that's a lot different. Would be quite interesting to maybe do a little bit of a comparison between this one and some of the maybe the, the white label to see what is the big difference between the two but of course it is a budget whiskey 26 euros for the bottle 40 percent abv i would like to try it a little bit higher maybe 43 percent or 46 percent just to see the differences and um, of course there's something that I would suggest give it a try it's not going to break the budget not going to break the bank and um, let me know what you think about it is there something that you would recommend to your friends so all the barking dogs all the rain um, i wish you a fantastic uh, weekend and um, i see you next time and please remember to like and subscribe cheers